Yo, what's going on, bladers and brawlers alike? It is Soul Burner here, and today we actually have another mail day video. Um, I have another package that is at the front office, but I'm just gonna get that and do the opening in the same video. The little bit of uh, inconsistency is just because I wasn't able to get it today, but it did come in the mail, so technically it should be part of this video, but I just didn't get the chance to go get it today. Um, so yeah, we have a couple things right here. Uh, I know there's two Bakugan and some cards in here and this one was already kind of like ripped open So I opened it anyways, uh, but all the contents are still in it. So let's look at our stuff so in the Amazon box They were able to restock the Arliss uh, Dragonoid Ultra Three packs, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm actually not going to open this one on this video because um, I have some other stuff and I want this one to have its own uh, personal video for that. So that's super exciting to look forward to in the future. So if you're not subscribed already, a good reason to would be to catch that video. And then we have another box right here um, for my buddy Tariq. We had made a trade. He picked me some stuff up at Momocon and I was just now able to get it from him. Um, as well as some trades and stuff, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at all that stuff. So, starting off with, we have the Ventus Trox Ultra. Uh, I have not been able to find him in my area, so I had him snag this for me and send it my way. So that's super awesome. I'm um, very, very excited to have one of these because his Titan Evolution is just absolutely bananas. And it's just a good Bakugan to have. Um, and then we also have Arliss Viserox Ultra. Um, I'm super excited to have my hands on this. Uh, he was able to find this one for me at Momo. Um, I tried to have him get me like a Lupithion as well as the, uh, I think the Praevian was the other one that was there, but no luck. So I settled for the Viserox, which is cool. I'm not complaining about it at all. Um, I'm super excited to have one and I can't wait to show him off to you guys. Um, and then as for the rest of the stuff in this package... We got some cards. So we got three copies of Endless Growth. Super good card. It is an X cost, Ventus. Uh, you may use any number of energy to play it, and for each energy used, you give a Bakugan to any Bakugan that you choose, plus 100 B power and one damage. So that's super, super nice. So it, kind of depending on the situation, this card can be an absolute game changer. Next, we have three copies of Hyper Serpentis Ultra, which is amazing in Pyrus because it, he's a two cost at five and seven, but if you have no cards in your hand, he gets an additional five damage and 1,000 B power, making him, what, a 15 and 12? So that's, that's pretty crazy. For a two cost, like, especially paired with um, the Turtle Boy, this, this is just ridiculous. Um, so that's awesome. We have a single copy of Hurricane Winds because I needed another one. This card is very, very good. I'm going to try and find some place to fit it in my deck. Um, following up that, we have the one copy of One With Nature. Uh, just need another one. This card is really, really good for getting rid of Troublesome Dan's, uh, Wintons, just anything that your opponent could be using against you. Um, Stratas, either blue or white. This card is very, very good. Uh, if you play Ventus, you've got to have this card in your deck. It's just, it's just too good for two cost. And finally, I have my third copy of Pact of Darkness, which is an absolute necessity when playing a Darkest build. So um, that's it for the cards. We're going to go move down to our normal location, and we're going to pop these two open. Okay, so now we're back at our more comfortable spot, uh, sitting where I like to. <laughs> um, so I have everything kind of laid out just so you can see everything real quick before I start busting into these. So we're going to take a quick examination of the uh, boxes and stuff, and then we're going to open them. And um, uh, again, this is going to be in a different video. I did not forget about it. So um, if you guys, if you guys do not have this, I will link in the description uh, where you can get it on Amazon. Um, it was about I have 15 bucks, which is really really nice. Um, it might have been 20. It's somewhere between like 15 and 20. But like Arliss Dragonoid Ultra is just absolutely insane because this evolution is. Oh, well, we'll talk about it in that video. So yeah, oh, super excited. So anyways, for what we have here. Uh, we have the Ventus Trox Ultra, who looks very, very good in his uh, classic faction. And again, like I had told you, it's just Trox because it's the Ventus one. Uh, we had covered that in my Wave 4 chord video. Looking at the back, he has the difficulty of two. One character card, one ability card, and two cores. 
So nothing too special on that. Um, we will get to check out a little bit more stuff with Visorox. Um, the Arliss Visorox that we have. It looks like he is a one from the top up here. And this is his little character card. Um, not too much, but on the back we have him in all his glory. And then we also get a teaser for this stuff that's about to come out. So we have Hyper Dragonoid, which is an updated version of Dragonoid Ultra. Same character card and everything. We'll go over that in the video that I do the unboxing. We have Aquas Fangzor Ultra, which looks really, really good in the Aquas. We have Ventus Hydranoid Ultra, who looks absolutely amazing in marble form. I cannot wait to show that thing off to you guys. He looks incredible. And we have the Chaos Lupithion, which I'm very, very excited to get my hands on. I know Fenris is also super excited to get his hands on this bad boy. So we might have to do a double box opening for that, where he opens his and I open mine on camera. And we kind of just, you know, just mess around with them. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a little sneak peek at some Wave 5 stuff. Or wave four? No, this is wave five stuff. So we already did wave four in that stream video, which I do again I want to apologize about the quality of that video. I did not realize that it was so terrible. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get these guys open and check out everything. Um so we're gonna look at the truck stuff first, and then we're gonna look at the Visorox stuff next. So we'll do the cores for trucks and take it from there. So the first is a Regular orange, oh, regular orange shield for plus 350B power, and then we have a helix of plus 500B and minus one damage, which is kind of crazy. Um, it's a crazy B power boost, but a very, I don't know, maybe ineffective minus one. I mean, if your opponent lands on it and they have a one cost like Fangzor or Arliss Trox Ultra, that's going to prevent you from taking any damage without cards like early game. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Next we have the action card for Trox, which is Deafening Roar, which features the Trox Ultra. It's 3 cost, minus 600 B power. Moving on to... oh wait. And then let's take a look at Trox. Um, as we kind of like already saw him from the packaging and stuff, um, he's got really nice like lime green elements. I feel like he has probably the most lime green on him than any of the other Ventus Bakugan, which is really nice because like they look very very good on him. Um, he's also got like a bit of yellow, so the, the toes, the side right here on his shoulder, his teeth, and his eyes are all yellow. Let's see if I can't get. Boy, you need to brush your teeth. Other than that, you know, pretty standard trucks. This was this is the one that also comes in diamond. So if you haven't found one or didn't know then he's definitely one you want to look for in diamond all right and then moving right along to his character card we got trox ultra come on dude there we go trox ultra with the shield and the helix as we saw 300 b power and minus one damage um so i guess that helix that you're run that comes with him is probably not the best for him because you'll probably be hitting your opponent with like nothing and then Victor, you may energize a card in your hand uncharged. Uh, so that's really nice. It's an automatic, or it's a potential automatic plus one to your energy with him. So if you kind of open with him early and your opponent doesn't get to, then you're going to be ahead and you're going to be able to max out your turbo. Uh, if not, make it really hard for your opponent to keep up with your energy. So that's really nice, especially with this whole um, gimmick of with Winton and be, just having heavy energy per turn and everything so yeah i really like this trox i'm super excited to see how my ventus players uh kind of adapt him into the deck moving on to the arliss visorox we're gonna look at his cores next so we have the shield of 200 bees and that's it which is really nice and then his green fist is plus two damage short sweet to the point plus twos for both of his cores um take a look at his ability card which is a Aquas Unstoppable, which is a 3 cost, plus 600 B power, and if a Bakugan is holding a Green Fist, which he comes with, it gets plus 2 Frost. So I don't know really how, no, I don't really know how that ties into him. Maybe this is just kind of like a random card they threw in that had a Green Fist. Um, but if they're going to do that, they might as well have just given us a Mega Punch <laughs> uh, for real. So with that, uh, well, let's take a look at the Bakugan. Alright, so here he is in all of his unboxed glory. Um, he looks pretty cool. He's got that big claw on the one side, small claw on the other. Uh, these kind of like wing things, wingdings, the grays, and um, 
I guess like the silver and the gray accents look really, really nice. Um, I kind of like the black on the outside and then no color on the inside. I think that gives it like a lot of definition. I know they kind of didn't did that on purpose. Didn't do it on purpose. They just colored the outside. Um, the black eyes look really nice. Uh, and then this kind of crest on his head is also very cool. Um, he's a bit weird to close. You kind of got to do like the legs first and then fold them over and then tuck this claw and, the, and then this claw. So it's, it's really interesting. And then his B power is in a very notable noticeable spot, which is nice. So you don't have to hunt for that. So it kind of just hangs out like that. Looks really nice. And then wrapping it up, we're going to look at his character card. So we have the Arliss Viserox Ultra, Shield, Green Fist, 400 B power and 4 damage, which is nice. I like the evens a lot. Not a whole lot to say about him on the card, uh, and we don't have any evolutions for him yet, so we'll have to wait and see what we get for that. And let's move on to our other package. Okay, so here is the last thing that I was waiting on. Uh, I just picked it up from my post office just a second ago. I had to rip this part off because it had my address on it, so uh, I'm really excited to show you guys what's in here. So let's just go ahead and pop it open. I'll just do this on camera, and we'll uh, take it from the side here since I already got a leg up on that. Look how perfect that was. And that's right, I picked up my two copies of Super Fuel. Oh, God. I am so excited to actually have this card. Um, I've been trying to pull for it like crazy to no luck. So now finally actually having it in my hands is just absolutely insane. So that is actually going to do it for Mail Day uh, Episode 2. Because the technical first episode is the San Diego Comic Con. Because all that stuff came in the mail. So we're just going to start this series of Mail Day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you aren't already for more videos like this. I'll be having more battles, more pack openings. I want to do a deck profile and just kind of see how things go the next couple of days. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of practice because I have a crazy crazy big announcement to make um so that's very very exciting but until the next video which won't be super long i have a lot of stuff in the works and i just want to start posting i think i'm gonna try and make it about two times a week i think I, that's a schedule i can kind of commit to so until then hope you have a fiery day